How we doing, people? Welcome to another edition of The Rounds. My name, of course, is Glenn. We bring you the freshest and tastiest in all that brews each and every episode. And today, we're going to swing up and say what's up to Sam and the guys at Dogfish Head. Uh, we're going to be checking out one of their ancient ales. This is called the Chateau Jaihu. And uh, this is based on a 9,000-year-old archaeological find in the Hunan province of China uh, at a place called Jaihu. Um, it is 10% alcohol by volume and, uh, again, is based on an ancient style of fermented beverage that was being drank in northwestern China about 9,000 years ago. Um, it featured honey, rice, a uh, little bit of uh, hawthorn berry, and uh, other ver various fruits and was fermented together. Now, for the Chateau Jaihu, what they did was they actually started the fermentation and let it ferment for a month. Uh, they used rice, or a rice syrup, if I remember right. Um, and they actually started fermentation with the koji yeast. Now, koji yeast, you have to use koji yeast if you want to produce sake. So they've used rice, and they've used the koji yeast, but they also added hawthorn berry, honey, um, let's see if I'm missing anything here. Uh, oh, and muscat juice, or grape juice, to uh, kind of ferment this really interesting beverage. Um, I know a lot of folks kind of here or there love them or hate them with the Ancient Ale series. I think it's really cool. I think it explores uh, the history of our species with beer um, and how long we've actually been doing this and, and how long this has actually been a part of us. Um, so I'm, I always think it's a fantastic idea. And I definitely say it's always worth the gamble to get out there, experiment, try at least a bottle. I do get the rice on the nose. Or what smells similar to rice. I get a little bit of the honey and a little malt sweetness. Um, you can see the head on this passed pretty quickly. Nothing but a very thin wisping of a layer here. Kind of the hue of honey as well. Nice effervescence to it. It actually seems to be moving a good bit up off the bottom of the glass there. You get muscat. You get honey. I would say the malt build plays lighter than it appears because they did use that rice or rice syrup. Um, and it kind of lingers with that muscat kind of flavor to it. Um, I think this is a fantastic take on what so many of us in the craft beer community dislike, which is the use of fillers and adjuncts to produce an inferior quality product. They here at Dogfish Head have used those same adjuncts, being rice, um, you know, muscats, uh, which aren't looked favorably upon by the wine community. Um, so they've kind of taken what's what's these these ingredients that are normally deemed as inferior adjuncts and fillers, and uh, allowed them to really kind of be showcased in their own brew. Uh, this shouldn't run you more than ten bucks a bottle. Should run you in the price of eight or nine bucks a bottle at best, uh, and is certainly going to play to folks who have less extreme beer taste. Those those who are just becoming beer educated. Those who who you're really trying to break into the beer community, it's a fantastic way to do it. it it's got flavors that have, that have a mass appeal to them. Uh, and yet, uh, you know, you're not going to drop a hot bomb on them. This is only 10 IBUs. So definitely worth scoping out, definitely worth, worth taking a shot at it. Um, I suggest serving it with your lady friends. Mm -hmm. Yep. That being said, guys, we will see you next time on The Rounds. Thanks for joining us. I'm Glenn, and here's to it.